What's going on YouTube? Is your man BG. Um, yesterday I just picked up the Samsung GS2. Pretty uh, this is this thing ain't really easy to come by. I went to a couple Best Buys. Um, when I finally got to a Best Buy, they had when they had four. It was me and another guy in line getting one. So it wasn't that easy. It's you know, it's not a whole bunch of them out there. So let's get into it. It's not an unboxing. It's already been unboxed and set up. This is the box it comes in. Let's take a look. 1.2 circular Super AMOLED display. Bluetooth 4.1. IP68 certified dust and water resistant. Wireless charging. Wireless pad included. Android cap capability. So, I'm... With that, I still wouldn't try it in the water that much. I won't wash my hands with it on or nothing like that. I'm pretty much going to keep it away from the water. Even though it's IP68 certified dust and water resistant. I'm going to have to Google that and see exactly what that means. But I'm still not trusting it because I'm not trying to mess up my $300 watch. It was $299 at Best Buy plus tax. And what came in the box was basically an adapter which I'm utilizing now um, this USB cable and your dock your Samsung dock for your watch and it's like magnetic so it's cool you just set it in there and you know mag the magnet pulls it in and keeps it tight up in the dock so I can get a good charge what I have it connected to is my Samsung Galaxy Note 5 so let's cut the watch on I can show you a couple things about the watch um, this watch basically is set up everything you can go through with this bezel and you can also touch the screen and with this uh these screens will be like your home screen on your phone like widgets almost like like let's start at this is my watch face then i go to the right got my shortcuts like some my apps my buddies you see and they give you uh, some contacts you can add to your, you know, you can add contacts from your phone so you can get the, to them quickly. You can call them, and, but you have to be connected via Bluetooth headset. This device connects to a Bluetooth headset. So any music you have saved on here, like it won't play directly from the watch. It'll only play from the phone or if you have a wired Bluetooth headset. So if you buy one of these, and you don't have a Bluetooth headset, you might want to invest in one of those also. But I'm not going to click on none of my buddies. Well, I can click on one. Click on Ammo. And it gives me an uh, option to call or text him. Got your settings. Display settings, sound settings. Gear info, vibration settings, input settings. Power setting, screen lock. I've never tried the screen lock. Right now, I don't have a screen lock on, and I'm going to keep it like that. Pen. I could put a pen in to lock my screen. I don't want to do that on the watch. That just seemed like it would be, uh, get on my nerves. S voice. S voice. I wish it was Google now on here because S voice, we all know, is some shit. I've been trying to send texts using S voice, and they, uh, it's nowhere near as good as Google now. But, um, we got the, uh, weather widget, music widget. Like I said, you got to be hooked to a Bluetooth. Let me just show you. I'll go to play. Connect Bluetooth headset. So we're just going to exit out of that. I have a Bluetooth headset here, but it's not connected right now. Got my monthly count, my month calendar, my uh, heart rate sensor right on the back of here. Got your heart rate monitor. Let's get in here so you can check your heart rate. And that's, see, I just got a notification. Got my pedometer. Got my, you know, daily events. Some of that stuff I can take off. I don't use all of that stuff. Some stuff was just set up when I got the watch. 
See tech dudes. If you want to join tech dudes, hit me up. Let me know. Got my. Uh, let's go to the apps. Let's check out some of the apps I got. Got the buddy. Let me start from the beginning. This is gonna go. Lovely birds. That's a game. I never. I haven't played yet. I downloaded News Republic, news app, Gear Pong. It's another game. Samsung Milk Music. You can play. You can control your Milk Music player. That's on your phone through your uh, watch. As you can see, I'm going to hit it a little too tight. In the ride. Open the phone up. Hell, hell. It's in Milk Music. Go back. Let me go back to no music. I'm gonna pause that. And to go back, just like the original gear, just swipe down. Got uh, voice memo, maps, which is not Google Maps. It's okay, but it's not definitely not Google Maps. Find my phone. If you, if you lose your phone and you know it's somewhere in your junkie room and it's close to your watch, you hit that. And even when the phone is on silent, it'll go off. This watch runs Tizen. That's the email. I haven't tried that widget. Because most of my email, I just got to set up so my email can go straight to my phone, my notifications. And I'll show y'all. Buddy, gallery, music player. Like I say, you need Bluetooth. But you can send music from your phone to your watch. And listen to it via, via Bluetooth headset. CNN, which is okay. It's like a news app. I'm waiting for a lot. I know a lot more apps going to come. A lot more development. It's, this watch is very smooth. It's not like laggy or anything like that. So it's just, you know, here go my different. I can look up different headlines and read them straight from my watch. Let's get out of there. Bloomberg, keep up with your finances. Stopwatch. Stopwatch look pretty cool. Right. That's a pretty cool looking stopwatch. Timer. Set a timer. So, you know, good watch stuff. Alarm. Weather. S voice. Schedule. Settings. Nike run. Nike actually has made their own watch face for this watch. Get out of there. And the witch is pretty cool. So I don't have that set up because I'm not a runner or whatever. S Health, phone, messages. Which don't work because I don't use that. I use Google Messenger for my apps. Or whatever for my messages on my phone. I use Google Messenger. I don't use the 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 stock messenger app and recent apps. You know what I'm saying like recent stuff I had set up, recent messages I got. Recent, you know what I'm saying? I can close I'm gonna go ahead and close them all out. You can go back home. This is your home button right here, bottom left. It's your power button on top, on the top right, bottom right. It's your home. Top right is your power button. So it's a pretty cool watch. Like this is not definitely not no review. The battery life is pretty good. I noticed. Um, like I said, I like the look. It's not even on my wrist. Uh, we going home. Okay. I really like the look. Um, I mean, it grew on me. At first, I wanted to just get the gear S. When this came out, I said, oh, it's going to be a little round face watch. Just let me get the gear S. But the gear S2 is actually growing on me. I really like the bezel. And um, it's pretty simple. Like, I don't need 
all, all I need is a Bluetooth watch. I don't need a watch that gets a SIM card or, you know, 3G SIM card or none of that. I just want something to connect with my phone. And it's been sending me my notifications really quick. I like that. And I can reply to some stuff if I wanted to. Like if I was somewhere and I don't want to be keep looking at my phone, I could just see what's going on with my watch. Um, as you can see, it's a nice little rubber band on here. Not, yeah, like rubber type material. They got a, the classic coming out with a leather band. I'm not into like leather watches, like I said. I'm really into more sportier type watches anyway. Set this on the dock out the way. And let me show y'all the gear. I'm using the gear. Uh, the gear program on my phone to control the watch. So, you, you know, different watch faces. But you can download a lot of this stuff too. Different little watch faces. I like the Nike watch face. You know. I can set it up, pops right up on my watch. Nike watch face. You know, manage gear. I mean, manage apps. Send media. I've sent music. I haven't sent any images. And, you know, you got a Bluetooth headset. That's pretty cool. They got some Yelp, ESPN. Matter of fact, let me download ESPN right now. But I know a lot more development is coming. But it's a nice watch. It's a nice. What this is is basically an accessory for your phone. And this is a very nice accessory. Kind of expensive but very nice. Oh, You got some settings up here. Send SOS messages. Uh, backup restore. You know, you can back it up, you can restore it, you can uh, edit your uh, text templates. Like, you can have already stuff saved to respond to all types of texts. If you're big in the text, then, then you want to just be able to hit, pull up the template and send it right from your watch, like a reply from like a missed call or something like that. You can uh, set that up. You can find your gear with your phone, just like you can find your phone with your gear. Hit that button, and it's vibrating and stuff. Notification you can set up. I got, you know, certain certain uh, apps that I want, you know, the notifications to come and go straight to my gear. Certain apps I don't, you know, they don't, the notifications are that important to me. So, you know, you can, check, you can select all, or you can pick and choose what notifications you want. These are the apps on the Samsung market. They got a lot of watch faces that you could pay for. Let's see some of the top ones. Lovely Bird, I downloaded that. You know, different faces and all that. But it's going to be a lot more coming, just like with all the other gear watches. They start off with certain apps, then it'll be like, oh, like I really want them to down have some real, like, like a real IG app, a real Facebook app. Let me go back. But, um... That's my Gear S2 experience so far. I'm BG, BG Tech Review. Go out and uh, pick up a Samsung Gear S2. I like it. I'm feeling it. At first, I didn't think I would feel it, but, you know, it's a pretty, uh, it's a nice watch. Something, you know, to play with, something on your wrist. So, you know, all my notifications, I was just in the supermarket. All my notifications was coming through. I see, could see the messages. And um, that's what I got it for. You know, it's all toys. You know, it's all in what you like. Um, like I said, I'm BG, you know, BG Tech Life on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. That's my, my IG, BG Tech Life. And as you can see, new updates about a lot of the stuff I've been doing. A little Hennessy, a little Starbucks. Can't go wrong with that. Um, but this is my video. This is my first look, you know, going through the... Gas too. Peace.